Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 10.4, 10.5 and 10.6 from wave optics. 10.4 In Eng's double slit experiment, the slits are separated by 0.28 mm and the screen is placed 1.4 meter away. The distance between the central bright fringe and fourth bright fringe is measured to be 1.2 cm. Determine the wavelength of the light used in this experiment. The given values are small d is equal to 0.28 mm we can write it is 0 0.28 into 10 power minus 3 meter and uh, capital D is equal to 1.4 meter and the position of fourth bright fringe that is y suffix 4 is equal to 1.2 centimeter that is also nothing but 1.2 into 10 power minus 2 meter. Now we need to find out the wavelength. The formula y sub x n is equal to 4 times of lambda capital D divided by small d. So that is the distance of, it is supposed to say the screen, this is small d between the two sources S1 and S2, it is capital D and uh, so this is from center y sub x4 that is equal to 4 into wavelength we need to find out d value 1.4 divided by small d 0 0.28 into 10 power minus 3 from this 1.2 into 10 power minus 2 is equal to 4 lambda into 1.4 divided by 0 0.28 into 10 power minus 3. From this lambda is equal to we will have 1.2 into 10 power minus 2 into 0 0.28 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 4 into 1.4 after simplification we will get 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter that is also can be written as 6000 angstrom coming to 10.5 in Eng's double slit experiment using monochromatic light of wavelength lambda the intensity of light at the point on the screen where the path difference is lambda is k units what is the intensity of the light at the point where the path difference is lambda by 3? Here we have when path difference is lambda, its intensity is given as k. When path difference is lambda, the phase difference can be 2 pi by lambda 
into lambda that is nothing but 2 pi itself. So, we have the formula i is equal to 4 i naught cos square 5 by 2 <coughs> that is equal to 4 i naught cos square 2 pi by 2 that is 4 i naught into cos square pi cos pi is minus 1 minus 1 whole square it will be 4 i naught this value is given as k from this what we can write i naught is equal to k divided by 4 take it is equation number 1 now when path difference is lambda by 3 its corresponding phase difference will be 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 3 this is nothing but 2 pi by 3 now the intensity i dash i am writing that is equal to 4 i naught cos square 5 by 2 that is 4 i naught cos square 2 pi by 3 again denominator 2 is there that is equal to 4 i naught cos square pi by 3 so that is equal to 4 i naught is equal to k and the cos pi by 3 is nothing but 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 whole square that is nothing but k by 4 this is the intensity when path difference is lambda by 3 coming to 10.6 a beam of light consisting of two wavelengths 650 nanometer and 520 nanometer is used to obtain the interference fringes in YDSE. Find the distance of the third bright fringe on the screen from the central maximum for the wavelength 650 nanometer. What is the least distance from the central maximum where the bright fringes due to both the wavelengths coincide? Take small d is equal to 2 millimeter and capital D is equal to 120 meter. Given here, D is equal to 2 millimeter, that is, that is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3 meter, and D is equal to 120 centimeter, that is also nothing but 1.2 meter in SI system. And lambda 1, we can take 650 nanometer, that is 650 into 10 power minus 9 meter. And lambda 2 is equal to 520 nanometer, that is also nothing but 520 into 10 power minus 9 meter. While coming to the A, Find the distance of the third bright fringe. So, y sub x3 is equal to 3 times of lambda d by d. But here, due to the wavelength 650 nanometer. So, I am writing lambda 1 d by small d. That is equal to 3 into d value, lambda value 650 into 10 power minus 9 capital D 1.2 divided by 2 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 1.17 into 10 power minus 3 meter otherwise we can write 
1.17 millimeter. Coming to sub question B. What is the least distance from the central maximum where the bright fringes of both the wavelengths coincide? In this case, y is equal to n1 beta 1. That means n1 number of bright fringes corresponding to lambda 1 are coinciding with n2 number of bright fringes corresponding to lambda 2 are coinciding. We can write this one is n1 lambda 1 d by small d is equal to n2 lambda 2 d by small d. Capital D by small d will be get cancelled. We have n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2. Now here n2 value is nothing but n1 plus 1. n2 value will be, 1 value will be higher because its wavelength is lower and we are going to find out the least distance. So now we can write n1 into 650 into 10 power minus 9 is equal to n1 plus 1 into 520 into 10 power minus 9. So after simplification we will get n1 is equal to 4. That means fourth fringe of lambda 1, fifth fringe of lambda 2 both are coinciding. Now we need to find out the least distance from the central maximum. That means y is equal to n1 lambda 1 d by small d that is 4 into 650 into 10 power minus 9 divided by 2 into 10 power minus 3 that is also is equal to 1.56 into 10 power minus 3 meter that is also 1.56 millimeter. This is the way of solving the numerical. Thank you.